It's finally done, guys. The top 10 worst games of 2021, and there's plenty of anger in here. I hope you guys enjoy. The sponsor of this video is me. It's us, the Angry Joe Show. If you really like our show and you want to support us going into 2022, please consider joining our Patreon. It gives us a backbone on YouTube of revenue that we can continue to make the videos we want to make it the way we want to make it without having to worry about YouTube demonetization. If you want to go above and beyond and support a show you love, Please, please consider it. We got the Patreon. We even have a YouTube join button. There's, of course, always merch you can get. Thank you so much for supporting our show over more than a decade and keeping us going. It's people like you that allow us to do this. So consider contributing if you want to see even more badass stuff in 2022. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Check it out. Yep, it's that time. These are the top 10 worst games of 2021. Number 10. What the fuck is this? Konami, Jesus Christ! We all knew you were a fucking joke by now, but seriously, are you doing this shit on purpose? This game launched in a disastrous state, throwing out the PC, and instead of making it better, they churn out this turd. You get to play as what, nine teams? Wow, wow. There's so many missing modes. The game is unfinished. In fact, it was pulled and pushed back to a beta demo release rather than its full release. It was so bad. Numerous server issues will crash your games online. The only way this shit works is local play, which me and OJ played. And because it's a soccer game and there was a bit of fun, but FIFA is so far superior in every regard. FIFA, a game that sucks, is far better. Everyone feels the damn same. The game is so friggin' simplistic. Then you've got a literal monster screaming their heads off as their mouths open ridiculously huge like a horror movie. But are in fact glitches. A particularly amusing one is the faces some players pull when performing celebrations, which really does push the limits on how wide the human mouth can believably open. <laughs> How 
is this a crowd in a 2021 sports game? But this sort of lack of attention to detail exists in games like this in 2021. It's as if 50,000 Edvard Munch sketches have been brought to life and told to jump up and down in unison to the beat of a lonely drum. Trash! Absolute trash is how. And of course there's a premium player pack that is $39.99 with chance deals for, for a mode that doesn't even fucking have a release date yet. Read it! It's new features, modes, events, and gameplay improvements are planned for the near future. Not now, but give us money anyway! Fuck you! I'm sure that the goodwill that was supposed to be garnered from going free to play has just evaporated as people realize what's incoming. And if they're fucking blind and can't see the shit product in front of them already, Konami may have effectively killed FIFA's only competition and that may be even more unforgivable. While IGN is giving you three out of 10, you know this is bottom of the barrel stuff and literally indefensible. His dress looks like some dirty <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Number nine. What is happening? What is this visual diarrhea? To Wonderland. Oh, you know what to do? Uh, children, don't go anywhere with that man. New Sonic. Balan Wonderland made me physically <laughs> sick to play. To do. Okay. Oh man. Yeah, that was weird. That actually felt me ma made me feel sick. What is this? Is this like hey. Sonic 3D? What is this? Oh! Stop it. You want to make your players sick? God, the music. Oh, please don't do that. Why are you doing that with the world? What the fuck? Definitely need to be drinking for this one. <laughs> Who the fuck an, an thought it was a good idea to have the entire world bending around you yeah. as you're fucking walking forward? Yeah. Are you shitting <laughs> me? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> fucking die! You did it! I don't know what the fuck you did, but you did it! Fucking die! Oh, is this game no. made for, like, babies? Yeah. <laughs> and if it is, then, like, why is it not more helpful? Oh, no, are you going to follow me? This 3D platform former, bafflingly, from Sonic the Hedgehog creators, is garbage. Pure garbage. So bad that it makes me question how much they had to do with the success of Sonic. That's fucking hard to do. Did the new team that they worked with have zero talent? Or, or was it their direction that made this title doomed from the onset? Well, I guess we won't know because after its release, Yuji Naka left Square Enix entirely retiring. Say that he can't, saying he can't talk about the reason right now. What'd you say his name was? Yuji Naka. Naka? Naka? Not gonna work, here Naka anymore. work here anymore. Ooh, that's... You can't do that to a legendary. Well, I can speculate that it was probably this awful game. Boring to play and a failure in every single aspect. Characters, levels, mechanics, enemies, story. It's all fucking nonsense. Nothing is fucking explained at the opening. Levels are di disjointed and the pacing makes no sense. You get cutscenes of the story level before the boss battle multiple levels in instead of at the beginning. It just doesn't make sense. It's all out of order. What? Don't, don't, inter don't interrupt this. There's something going down here that... He's... what? <laughs> 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 
What the fuck? The cringe factor is through the roof. This director is like, you know what's missing in games? Is dance sequences after you beat an insanely easy boss. We have to make you feel that. Yeah, this. Okay. This kids is literally that, for toddlers. Well, kids aren't that dumb, right? They play the other game. And we have dolphins trying to murder children. That could be a boy trying to build a flying machine. Or a girl whose dolphin friend seemingly maimed her and left her to die. And it's, it's a game where one fucking button dictates anything that you can do. It's a one button game. X is jump, A is jump, B is jump. Why? What is what is Y gonna be? Jump! Chat, what do you think Y is gonna be? Menu. Jump. Menu. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey! hey! Yeah! Well, fuck yeah! Game of the year, baby! And none of this shit is worth it when you make it so artificially restricting useless costumes. Ooh, you're cool. Pop and lock, baby. <laughs> Pop and lock. Jelly Joel allows where to travel through slide streams. There's even one that fucking turns you into a fucking box. Like, what? Just give me two buttons instead. Uh -oh. What? Costumes can be used in previous levels, but for what fucking reason? No good reason, that's what. Bosses are incredibly easy. They all die in three hits. Three fucking hits. What's this? Stop I it. don't know what's happening. Yes, you do. Oh, no, I got to kill this guy. Hold on. Oh, I got him. Oh, well, you didn't It was so to. great. Look, my strategy was flawless. You just don't know. That was pretty hard, wasn't it? The levels are tied together with a pointless I garden know. hub where you feed these bird thingies that are probably the best thing in the game, but it's, it, it builds stupid, but uh, doing that builds stupid shit that does nothing! You will literally stop collecting the crystals to feed the birds when you realize it does nothing! Awful QTE levels with our hero, it's just baffling. Forget it, just forget this game ever happened. I don't want to live anymore. It's, it's like that family member that never gets spoken about because everyone is too fucking ashamed. Well, it's like Sonic, Sonic's family. Sonic would be mortified if he ever met Balan. Balan is a bad game where the developers have clearly hired some fucking fake reviewer bots to pump the score on Metacritic. You should see the user score with some of the most hilarious 10 out of 10 ratings I've ever seen with similar language and syntax and they all rated one game. Balan, I guess because it was crowdfunded and there's some weirdos out there. It's $40. $40 too much, even for young children, even for toddlers, even for babies. Balan sucks. <laughs> Joe! Alex didn't even play! Joe! I beat the Alex, boss! You beat the boss? You played That's like the one hardest minute. guy! That's the Three hardest hits? thing in the game, Joe! No, the it's hardest the thing hardest in the game, game is playing this game. game! I don't want to! It's fucking dumb. Jump back the <laughs> Joe, come back! <laughs> Fuck this game! <laughs> God damn it, I can't even kill myself. Number eight. Oh, fire! 
Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, definitive edition. The epitome of lazy development. How the fuck, Rockstar, a company like them, who takes all the time they need to release something, how they can approve this coming out in the state that it did is absolutely unforgivable. They should have known what's up, but they don't give a fuck because the game is straight up broken at release. It was half-baked and completely buggy and glitchy. How you doing on the Fetty? I'm kind of shocked, you know. Crash took all my paper, man. Left me with nothing but small change. Hey, get yourself a bill, sir. I'll catch up with you. Cashing in on a nostalgia, stripped down versions of the animations, awful character models. But I also didn't expect modeling that both manages to somehow look like pieces of Lego, but then also look like sloppy boneless noodles. I'm down, dog. These have to be mobile versions just blown up into PC ports without any fucking love and care of the originals. The only positives are faster load times, yay, to this broken shit, and weapon wheels to make getting to the guns faster, which would have been helpful if the audio targeting worked half decently, which it doesn't. Hey, what's this, a snail support? Resolution is now up to 4K, whippy! Jaggy's fixed, woohoo! Updated facial models and some dynamic lighting? Only none of those things were executed in the way they should have been. So what you end up with is a fucking horror show that will have to be patched a shit ton. Rain is rendered fucked up. Turning on and off in, in battering torrents on the fucking land and sky and air. And what the fuck is up with these faces? Bugs galore. Not only the old bugs from previous versions, but somehow new bugs with this version. And the bugs have bug babies. It is unpolished maps, misspelled signs, vanishing cards, and utterly broken mini games. Rockstar and Groove Street games should be fucking ashamed of themselves at how they've treated these legendary, iconic games. A fucking apparent trend from 2021. Goodbye. Number seven. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't play video games that lie to me. You know. I mean, I just don't. I just don't participate in that. I don't believe in it. I think it's wrong, you know? What the fuck is this game? This is hard. And hold E, hold E, hold E. I almost died. I'm inside You're the building. Insult. You <laughs> clipped into the build. I'm dead. <laughs> I can't anymore. Talking about ruining legendary franchises, 
Battlefield 2042's launch date. I, I thought I had my actual gun out, but I didn't. Yeah, we'll just go to B. We'll be there soon. No worries. Yep. Off the B flag. It's around this direction. Yep. Yeah, yep. This direction. Yep. I think we're going the right way. Yeah, we're going the right way. If you thought I was done with Battlefield 2042 and that rant in the disappointing list, oh, you're dead wrong, because here it is again. Battlefield 2042 gets on two lists, just like motherfucking Fallout 76. It has broken parts, and when you realize that this was the intended direction of the game, and, and, and that's when you see what is being done to the player base, and you realize that it's just a fucking bad game and people are leaving, period. Yeah, Angel does it again. I told you to keep up. No, don't do that. Shut up. The launch state was even worse than it is right now, and that's why we're here on the list. I, I, I was shocked. Let's go, boy. Can't even turn left or right. What? It's not Battlefield. I didn't even want to play the damn thing for more than a few days. That is a bad game. Something that has never happened with any other Battlefield. There were so many crashes, so many hit registration issues. It was like I was playing a first time developer game who, who like developed a piece of crap game and then were given the reins to a massive franchise and they just buckled under pressure. The maps are garbage. The the variety of guns are, is hilarious. The vehicle spam and balancing, garbage. The specialist, garbage. The broken and disabled shit is garbage. Some of the specialists, some of the specialists were broken and disabled from the beginning. Don't be sad. This is just how it works out sometimes. Mechanics on some mat, garbage. You couldn't even fucking win on some breakthroughs. Here we go. I'm going up the elevator. Let's do it. Die. Let's die in five seconds. Fire! Because you destroy that hovercraft that they use as a turret, but then they just call down another one. There's already five sitting up there. Instant. Instant, they call it. It's as if they'd even play test the game or take any feedback from the fucking beta. This is Shit. fucking bullshit. This is yeah, fucking bullshit. God. <laughs> it was a preview demo. That demo, that's what it was. That beta was not a beta, it was a fucking demo for people to play $120 for early access to the shit game. The audio, garbage. In a franchise where the audio has always been fucking king and fucking amazing. It's now garbage. The soundtrack, fucking garbage. Don't get me started on that. Battlefield 2042 is garbage. Oh, guys. Now, the worst Battlefield ever made, and this 
is what they wanted to use as a base going forward and build a multiple game universe on it. We'll keep it. We don't want it. The launch state of Battlefield 2042 was plain bad. Number six. Bunch like of other Bobby things. Boucher? Micro transactions. Micro transactions. Micro transactions. Micro transactions. Micro, micro. Are you draining his micro. wallet? <laughs> yeah. DLC. It, it, it's costing Zen. Micro, to micro, do this. micro. Ultimate attack <laughs> expansion. It's a broke spot as now. <laughs> Booster pack. <laughs> Magic Legends, a game so bad, it never even fucking came out. They canceled it. They said, yeah, this thing will work. Get rid of it. <laughs> That's right. You will not have to spend money on Magic uh, watching it get butchered in this free-to-play action RPG, but it, because it played more like a lazy mobile clone with 2005 graphics than anything worth your time. Instantly forgettable. I almost forgot about it with its story, its art direction, zero uniqueness. It's just a clunky interface, horrible voice acting. What am I? What am I, fucking blue? What did you do? No! Master, and that's all I need. To We're gonna need plenty of beer for this. So, you're a stalker, and you want my number. Well, you can't have it, because I don't like you. Nonsensical loot, the, a gameplay loop that involves trashing brain-dead AI with various class abilities. The one thing that it had is a skill rotation slash deck building that would randomly swap your abilities out. It was supposed to be unique, but it was like kind of pointless and arbitrary. Uh, you could only use four instead of 12. It, it's like when you're, especially when you're trying to build a fucking synergy and strategies, you can't. If you can't do what you want, when you want, then you can't build a fucking thing that you want there was no real sense of progression and you can tell that they were intending to pretty much piecemeal the entire magic the gathering universe into bits and pieces and throw them into their fucking cash shop to nickel and dime magic ip fans no thanks four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen different types of currencies are you are you are you out of your mind? A mindless grime that no doubt would have had this pointless progression system that was gonna take advantage of time gates and, and paid upgrades that, that rise and, and make it more difficult as you go along while your ability to earn the free currency was probably gonna stay flat. It's not like it would have worked with these quests being so boring. The side quests, oh my God, it's like random events kill five baddies, or collect a mana pillar by killing baddies, or fight a zone boss with no real end game. The idea of this game, the action RPG, may have been great in the Magic Universe. It just wasn't executed in the best way. Very dull. And I think the publisher and developer slowly realized that and said it to themselves that this is not gonna work out as they had hoped and as a new way to monetize the fan base. So they scrapped it, thankfully. There might have been something to exploring the Magic Universe in a new, unique way, but this one wasn't it. What? 199. Holy shit, I don't know. They don't, have, they don't often go that far. I mean, almost every single mobile game stops at best deal, 99.99, right? but this one's like ultra best deal, 199.99. Uh -oh. Number five. 
So what's worse than a game that didn't even fucking come out? Fucking Madden 22! Garbage! It looks the same! Garbage! Pathetic! Hot garbage! Is this a joke, EA? A game that did come out, unfortunately. That has been in the game, the football games, for decades! And you're putting it in Madden and you're saying, give me money! Give me praise. Four billion dollar franchise and the, the top feature that you are fucking touting is that you're putting features in the game that was in the game in 2000 fucking, I don't know, forever ago. Buggy, broken, unstable. These animations are completely screwed up. I mean, what, what is he doing? He's flying in the air like a fucking UFO unidentified flying object to get this freaking ball from its highest point. And it's, it's absolutely bullshit. Simulation football, huh? Yeah. I have an hour and 10 minute angry review and rant of this year's Madden and how fucking broken it was. A billion dollars and this is the best you could do for halftime? Even fucking NFL 2K5 had cheerleaders with physics. Madden has nothing, not even fucking refs on the field, which they removed years ago. And only when you do see them in the background, they're glitched out monstrosities. How? Well, see if the Super Bowl celebration is the fucking same. Hold up the trophy. <laughs> well, see if the Super Bowl celebration. Visual glitches that have been in the game for five years are still there and have not been fixed. So if you want the details on that and how this franchise continues to butcher and monopolize simulation football, go watch it. But to summarize, Madden fucking sucks, don't buy it. Same. 19 and 23. Look at number 21. What the right. fuck? Look at 19 and 23. It's like neck, no neck, neck, no neck. What the hell? With the same fucking face! <laughs> All it does is generate the millions and millions of dollars, billions in combined ultimate team mode money from sports gamers, and they can't be fucking bothered to pull their thumb out of their asses and reinvest a little bit of that into improving their game engine or their fucking game. We couldn't afford to get the rest the same visual quality, and so we had to make the tough call of, do we want them to continue to be detractors or not? And we didn't, so we took them out. What? What? A billion dollar franchise and you can't afford to motion capture one fucking ref? Get out of here with your bullshit! My name's Ian Cummings. I'm an associate producer on animation and gameplay for Madden Next Gen. So for the first time ever for Next Gen, we brought in a real NFL referee, Ed Hockey Lee, most recognizable referee in the NFL. We recorded his audio, recorded his movements, facial animation, the whole deal. Everything is there from Ed, authentic. It's amazing the difference between us capturing an actor versus what Ed can do. So we're probably the most experienced at it. A yearly scam perpetuated by EA on all sports fans everywhere and how Ugh. And now that the real Madden has sadly passed away, brace yourself for EA to capitalize off his death and profit off it with their half-assed fucking game. Mark my words, it's coming. Madden edition. Madden, Madden edition. Great. Bob, we've had a great partnership with EA, uh, and it's continued to be the, the number one sports game. And so we're, we're delivering the fans something that's great quality and proud of that partnership.
Don't buy Madden. Number four. There are many adjectives I could use to describe this game. Disgusting. Embarrassing. Pity fucking full. Quite how this complete and utter filth ever made it into production is something I may never know and will ruminate on for the rest of my career such as it is. Popeye. <laughs> I can't put into words how bad Popeye on Switch is. What the fuck? He's got fucking tumors. <laughs> it's not a tumor. <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I thought there was something here. What the here. fuck happened? It's like the game was thrown together in somebody's fucking garage and pushed out to fulfill some licensed congrat uh, contractional obligation, right? Popeye on Nintendo Switch. You, you know the Switch, right? The, the, the console that has some of the best fucking games out there. Monster Hunter, the Metroid Dread, and, but also hilarious fucking bad shit like this in its god-awful, like, store that nobody fucking combs through. It's awful. He's coming! Run! Look at Popeye's face. Push him! What the fuck? No. From the makers of the $10 Nintendo Switch calculator app comes Popeye. Okay. Wow. I heard about this, but I... There's one behind you, behind the house, still. I didn't think it was... This is not a game. Mm. This is an asset This is like a mobile flip. game. One of the worst games I have ever had the displeasure of playing. It is basically three generic maps. It's just two maps. It's like two maps. It's the ship and then on land where they put fucking and they fill it with stock assets. Where you run from Brutus while collecting hearts from olive oil for what we think is nine levels or, or an unlimited amount of levels. We don't know because the game cheated us out of Other Joel's world record run with its fucking garbage bullshit. Of Super Bowls. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know what hit you. What the fuck was out that? Out of nowhere, Mofo Silver fucks Joe up. What? <laughs> what? There's literally nothing there. Hold on, let's go frame by frame. Can we do that? There's nothing. Oh there. my God! I got cheated. Ladies and gentlemen, I got cheated. Joe was cheated. Give we have that. a huge controversy. Somebody call the official. Bring him in here. We need to have. Can a I get review. a reset? I need a reset. Two lives. <laughs> Two lives. I need a reset. An absolute travesty. <laughs> <laughs> we can literally make any game fun together, and so we did that here. But it was hard as fuck to make this one fun. With just one mode, this one, you will eventually give up as you feel the most empty that you ever have in your life. And what will finally send you over the edge is the game soundtrack which is literally a 20 second loop of the same fucking song over and over until the end of fucking time. The soundtrack is as repetitive and basic as the gameplay. That's it. Over and over and over a fucking gen. That's all I've been hearing. All I've been hearing since playing it to see what the fuck it's like. And at least it's only a gross overpriced $13, 
for this shit, unlike what they're asking for the next game on the list. Number three. Fortnite! Whoa! He's so fucking cool! Whoa! He's not even shooting nerf darts. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I guess it is a special nerf dart. Oh! Nerf legends! What could be worse than fucking Popeye on Switch? A game that feels like it was lazily made to fulfill a license commitment? Well, what could be worse than that is a game that in fact was lazily made to fulfill a license commitment. Okay, there's one left. There's one left. I just, I just crashed again. There's four. <laughs> it says fatal error. I need to. Can you take a the, screenshot or something? Yeah, the Unreal. Four Project Dart game has crashed. <laughs> it's not even called Nerf. It's Project called Project Dart. Dart. Project Dart has crashed. It's super will. secret Project Dart. Oh my god, this thing is fucking broken. Made by the same people that crank out Cabela shit every fucking year, and some licensed garbage comes a game that is nearly as bare bones as Popeye. Only this time, it decides to charge almost. Times the amount for the privilege to destroy your fucking sanity. Is there a battle pass? And there's two fifty-five dollar additional bundles you can buy. You're joking. No. Oh my god. What an insult to, to nerf. life. I fucking love nerf. No life. Mm. <laughs> nerf! Legends, the second game with legends in its title. Maybe let's not call a game legends if it's not gonna be fucking a legend or legendary. This is the kind of game you buy for your nephew if you hate your nephew. <laughs> <laughs> what gun are you using? It's so much better than my shit. He's so mad. <laughs> Whereas with Popeye, we were able to make fun of our own stupid experience pushing OJ to the limit with bad bad game nerf legends is one of those too mediocre to be bad bad and it makes it even more bad somehow oh my god this feels so bad what happened did you die I think what is happening when I'm firing my gun I don't know, but it's not very it, accurate at all. No, if you want to talk about the bloom is fucked up in twenty in twenty forty two battlefield, <laughs> you don't you know, look at the bloom and fucking Nerf Legends. Nerf nothing. <laughs> oh my god, the game is like literally unplayable past the second level for me for the longest time, and I actually tried to fix it. I have no idea why I cannot get out of training. <laughs> hey, you did it. <laughs> you did too. <laughs> what? This game is so fucking broken and shit. It is literal baby diarrhea. It has less value than baby diarrhea. And God have mercy on my soul as I finally fixed it and it opened up a new hellish world of shit gameplay that I won't soon recover from. And when I tried to play multiplayer, I realized that I was a, one of 11 people who had bought the game or something. Select the lobby you want to play. Your dumbass spent $50 and you ain't playing with nobody, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> All time peak for the for the for the past twenty days and it released twenty one days ago. Ten people The game sold ten copies. <laughs>
<laughs> so I forced Alex to play with me while Joe, Joe was luckily away. So I forced Alex to play it. <laughs> and he hated me for days afterwards. Alex, play multiplayer Nerf Legends with me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you really want me to download that shit? Yeah. <laughs> Like, really? Yes. All right, let me get to a save point. I'm not losing content over that shit. Akin to literal torture. Th this is an FPS shooter where the graphics are, are worse than, like, I don't know, Roblox mods. Roblox mods have better graphics. The shooting is completely non-responsive. There's, there's no feedback. There's zero feedback. And, and the enemies are just about the stupidest, most repetitive robots ever. Nerf Legends should not exist, but it does. And it asks a whopping $50! Criminal! Insane! Are, are you out of your mind? You want almost a $60 full price tag for this fucking shovelware? Go to hell! And to think, I actually dropped $100 on this to test multiplayer. It makes me sick. I was only able to get one refund from then. And the other one I was forced to keep. I put too much time into it. No. Oh my god, I can't believe we spent $100 on this You spent $100? $110. <laughs> 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 $110. Why? I don't know. I didn't want to spend it. I got you, bitch! I'm the motherfucking champion of Nerf Legends! The best in the world! I am literally the best in the world! <laughs> Me <laughs> and 11 people are forever scarred by this game that plays three fucking songs over and over. This game has no redeeming qualities at all. Long ago, I was a famed record-breaking Nerf athlete. The best, but today <laughs> I am your frontlet master. The moment you cross the door, <laughs> he, you enter my door. He, he said, Nerf athlete. From now on, <laughs> is my dream. Woo. If you're here. Number two. Oh. 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 Your arrow lands squarely in the goblin's chest. There's a sickening crack of bones as it shatters its ribs and sternum. You can hear the goblin's breath becoming labored as his lungs fill with blood. He's in extreme agony. Die. He takes no notice of his wounds. What? Alex, what are you talking about? Just as you prepare to make your next action, six goblins spring forth from trap doors, ambushing your party. These three at your flanks in perfect position to take you by surprise. These three at your sides blocking the only exit. All right, first group of goblins, they decide to wait until their brethren are slain before they do anything. What the hell is going on? The second group, they're stunned by how pretty a day it is. This is boring. What's wrong with the enemies? This is the worst D&D game I have ever, ever played. Okay, so, D&D Dark Alliance isn't really worse than Nerf Legends or, or Popeye. That is pretty fucking obvious. But it's higher because I also had zero expectations for those games, right, to be good. Here, I actually had an expectation. I, I was actually looking forward to this game with, with a good license and, and it fucks it up. No matter how bad, it, it just feels so much worse than a piece of shit garbage bargain bin game fucking it up, right? We, we did it, question mark. We did it. <laughs> Speaking of your broken. Defeat the uh, Aram of something. Where is he? Is that him? I just want to hit him. Is, it, is this him the, that yeah, we cornered? The, corner, the one in the corner is there. Got him fucking cornered. We're going to stun lock his ass. 
<laughs> that was the fucking easiest boss in the whole fucking game. Is literally three or four hits. He didn't even get a cutscene. And I'm scene. on fucking ascended. That's something they would have never gotten right in the first place. And and this is how I feel about D and D Dark Alliance getting close to being on my top. 10 most anticipated games for that year. This game dropped the ball hard. What an absolute disrespect to the original Dark Alliance games and a waste of a fucking D&D license and a franchise that people actually fucking like. Do something. Fucking do something. This game is buggy as hell and extremely low effort. Our My game froze. He, he, it's Your that bug. froze? Why are you kicking? I'm not kicking. <laughs> yes, you he, are kicking. kicking. Yeah, He's you're kicking. kicking. Just close out your game. This is the bug that happened yesterday, too. Oh. Um. Yeah, sometimes you'll log in at level one with no gear, right, no gold. There you go again. Kick him. The part of the game that's supposed to be the most fun, the combat, is the worst part. It did more to make me hate Dungeons and Dragons characters here than make me like them. And that is damaging to its license. I hate these characters now. Of Drugar, guys. Of Drugar and Cultist Minions. You know, the two enemies that we've been facing the whole fucking game! Sluggish combat that gets worse in higher difficulties, pointless mechanics like the camping down system, completely unbalanced gameplay between the classes, boring characters, a shit Lord of the Rings wannabe story, it is grindy as hell, and entire sections of the game can just be ignored to get to a shit boss that dies in a few seconds without any fun at all. Fuck you, Kevin. Fuck you and your stupid asshole. Hit him in the booty hole. I'm getting out stamina back to them. Just Give me my stamina back. Uh, uh, fucking, I'm gonna drink my green shit. Fuck you, Kevin. <laughs> Lay down, motherfucker. Take it like a man. You fucking take it, bitch. Oh my God. Take it up the ass, Kevin. You said. <laughs> fuck. I said get back down on the ground, Kevin. Hit the T button. That's what I did. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, the cutscene was longer than the fight. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Loot that makes you look like boogers and trash. Here I come. <laughs> wow. You promised. Oh my god. <laughs> Joe, oh my god, it looks like Shrek jizz all over you. This has the best stats. It's snot. It's like troll snot. What is it? Off of you. It's like booger armor, Joe. Ugh, it's sticky. Yeah. You, this is literally the best armor for the archer. This is the best I can get. I can't <laughs> even change the color. Oh my god. <laughs> Difficult to even play as the game resets every fucking level when we played. What? I got disconnected. God damn it! What the what fuck? I told you as soon as he returned to base uh, That camp. shit better have counted. I am gonna be pissed uh, no, if I don't that, have my no. my epics. Fuck oh. that! Every aspect except for its cutscenes is garbage. What? We had bled for the day. Fuck! Struck fear into the hearts of Fuck this no, fuck this shit. game. Oh my god, you can't even fucking give me a good fucking cutscene at the fucking end. It, that's there just like this game. Left. So god damn it. You fucked it up. Wait, was that it? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys never defeat me. Just go back to the cow face. The spirit of Kim defeated him. Ah, uh, yes, after this long no. five minute cutscene. <laughs> hey guys, what are you doing? Oh no, stop! Stop! <laughs> You're too powerful! <laughs> I have reason to come against you. No, no! Number one. There's a worse game? What? What's worse than pieces of shit that barely have anything to them? That, that asked for too much money. Well, what's worse than that? I'll tell you, a piece of shit that has even more content that should have been better. Daniel, your days are gone. Oh. Just kill me. 
kill me, I'm here! Kill me, I'm here! It's the same loop, it's the same! Yeah, you only had to do this it's for an hour just, so far. Oh yeah. my god, it's the I same. I did this shit for a long time. Well, why didn't you fucking make Alex do it? I cooked. Because he cooked. And oh he, my and god. And I bought the beers. And he bought the beers. Dude, his delts are so fucking big, you can't even crossbow <laughs> over them. Whereas I was able to share my misery with other Joe and Alex and Zero in D&D Dark Alliance, only one of us at a time had to endure the single player of Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood. Ava just told me about Adana. I'm so sorry. What? Carl. No, she did. I was right we'll there. Her back. <laughs> How? Thank you for your help in the prison. She sent an email you out. You took big risks for me. You can thank me when we've got your daughter back, but just remember, my favorite way to be thanked is cold, hard cash. Less oh. tech. You have no fucking idea what is going on in this game from the start, with literally no explanation of any of its rich licenses, lore, or its setting. Instead, you're just some generic badass dude in a fucking jacket. Not this jacket. This jacket is cool, of course. His jacket is fucking lame. He tries to act tough, and he's got a rough voice, and he's an idiot. We need to hurt them, bring them down, not chase them away. There's more than 20 hours of this shit. No, please, no. The main character has uh, has most of the game put on his shoulders, and when he's the focal point, and he's so badly written, it's like the writers from Right to Hell Retribution. That's what that's what it is. The writers from Right to Hell Retribution came and wrote for this game. You can guess what happens next. Oh no, I had to fight one of your wolves at Endrin's HQ. I had Watkins until your wolf interfered. Why? You still don't understand. Survival requires sacrifice. Endron is too powerful. The worm is too powerful. Fighting against them only leads to unnecessary death. It's some of the most cringy, painful shit to en have to endure through this awful story. The best I can say for the game is that you can play as a doggy sometimes. Puppy. Doggy. Doggo. Wee. What? I can't jump over people. What? Fucking zero out of ten. What limited. the fuck? Boom! I nailed that shit, you fucker! You whatever! <laughs> nope. The levels are so, so boring. Otherwise, you basically can just tear through any level as your werewolf form. And combat sucks as a werewolf. It's so damn bad, it's floating, it lacks impact, it doesn't make you feel like a werewolf. There's pointless upgrades, and there's Character clipping galore with stiff and poor animations. This is just way above their pay grade. They couldn't do it. And there's some moments that fucking fuck up the lore, which insults the fans. The only people who have any idea what's going on here. It's because the they're lore. mixing up their own lore. Like, that's the leader right there, the old naked lady that OJ likes. This she would never lady. be in human form ever because they despise humanity. Your time would be better spent playing any other beat-em-up game. The license really deserves better, and I just don't think that the werewolf side of it has been done in good video game form yet. It is an absolute chore to play through. We forced ourselves all the way through. <laughs> Die. Die, daughter. Trash. Fuck this game. What the hell? Okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought they fucking, fucking bugged out and knocked her up past the wall. I'd rather play any other game on this list, except for maybe Nerf Legends. Fuck that game. And fuck this game. Find them for me. Mysterious man. He's an agent of the worm. Oh no, another corporation. It's not, what was the original one? E Endion. E Endron. Endron. Now, it's Pentex. What a piece of fucking shit. Garbage. Does harm. 
to the Werewolf the Apocalypse license. Absolute monotonous, repetitive, terrible, awful story, crappy ass fucking, you know, combat, just awful. You know, there's there's like 10 seconds of good gameplay loop in the combat, and then you just fight the same shit over and over in the same levels over and over. Just one move. God awful. <sighs> what game do you want to say fuck to? Let me know what was your worst game in 2021 in the comments below. Were any of yours on my list? That's it for my list. Stay tuned for some more lists. We got best and worst movies and what games we can look forward to in 2022. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show where you're probably going to have me play even more bad games and make another bad games list. And I don't want to play another game like Nerf Legends and Popeye and Dark Alliance. And the and the the fucking werewolf with the earth blood and the thing. No, I'm not doing it. No more. <laughs>